For a few years now, the sheep industry has been talking about an exciting new technology which will test for whether a particular animal contains genes that produce favourable traits. Well, now it's here and they're calling it the snip chip. Well, that might sound like a new brand of fast food, but it's actually cutting edge genetic technology which will allow breeders and producers to test for those traits without waiting years for progeny test results. Dean Alan Craig has been checking out the latest developments. At Miramuna in New South Wales, Kim Barnett is breeding for traits that he believes will build profitability in his business and at the same time meet ever demanding consumer needs. Just sit there, sit there. Bring the meat now, bring the meat. Steady. Steady. Through accurate record keeping and the genetic evaluation tools Lamplan and Merino Select, he's identified ewes that show good body size and consistently high fertility. He benefits from the birth of more lambs each season and so do his clients who buy his surplus ewes. These are naturally mated, twin bearing ewes. They've all been identified over a number of years as twin bearing ewes. And our records show that these ewes continually have twins and their daughters carry that out with twins as well. It's a process that can take years, generations of record keeping to get the right animals in your flock. But now the Australian sheep industry is about to enter a new era that will offer faster, cheaper and more accurate breeding information. This young ram looks like he'll be a star performer, but wouldn't it be better if we could look right inside? into the DNA and genes that make him what he is and then know he will give us favourable traits. Well, soon we can. A new technology called an SNP chip, or SNP chip for short, is in the final stages of development. It's a small chip, or glass slide, that can hold up to 60,000 known gene markers from sheep DNA. With the SNP chip, and have been able to identify these sheep a lot earlier, we'll be able to advance a lot quicker and that's one of the problems in our industry is it's very slow to advance and we're up against that. So using the gene markers such as what's happening in the genomics project will advance the industry as I say a lot quicker which will then flow on to the commercial breeders as well. The SNP chip is the result of years of research through Faulkner Field Station's sheep genomics project including input from some of Australia's top breeders. After a validation process, the end result will be a customised SNP chip for the industry, offering 1,000 markers covering the most sought after traits. A sheep's SNP chip data will simply form part of its Australian sheep breeding values, or ASBVs, available for all producers via Lamplan and Merino Select. Those at the forefront of the development of the SNP chip technology say while it's a huge step forward in the area of genomics, it'll never fully replace or make redundant all the other things which go towards making a good sheep enterprise, such as strategic planning and good traditional sheep breeding practices. Don Pegler and John Keeler have kept detailed records for decades on every sheep bred on their Cashmore Oakley properties. Now, with the SNP chip, they believe they'll get greater genetic gains than they're currently achieving, and faster. And she weighs, um... We would like to see genetic change increase. We would like to go from 2.5% to 3.5% to 4.5% to 5 Now, there's various ways we can go about it, and SNP chips um, offer us the potential to increase genetic change, and that's dollars, dollars on the, in the paddock, basically, dollars in the pocket. So that's what we're really after. DNA from a blood sample will show if any of the animal's genes match the favourable genes on the Industry 1000 SNP chip. Don Pegler says his lamb plan data already shows an improvement in many areas and he's looking forward to even greater gains once the SNP chip is validated. Oh look, if we can get the price down uh, for using the SNP chip down to uh, sort of the $10 mark and uh, we tag about uh, 3,000 stud lambs a year so if we can get it down to that uh, We'll probably look at using it over all, uh, all the uh, lambs we produce each year. MLA's Alex Ball believes the SNP chip will be ready for use by stud breeders in 2010 and says the benefits will flow to commercial producers soon after, providing easy access to some hard to measure traits like eating quality and the nutritional value of the meat. 
And that really sits in well with where we think the modern consumers, for particularly for lamb meat, are heading. Because some of the other traits that we're interested in are like iron content and zinc content and omega-3 fatty acid content. And they're going to be the traits that are really going to start to dictate how we interact with our consumers of the future. And that's perfect for the SNP chip. Well, probably if you look in the history of breeding, um, the, um, when they first started, it was more about feeding than breeding in the stud industry. And um, then uh, since we've all been performance recording, we've seen great genetic gains there. And with the SNP chip in uh, DNA analysis, we'll uh, be able to um, probably take those next major steps in uh, breeding superior animals.